Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to be uh, checking out the exterior angles of a polygon. Exterior angles. The last video was about interior angles. Remember the interior, like the inside of a car being the interior? Well, this is the exterior, so the outside. And um, before we get into it, I just want to show you a triangle here. Now, first of all, you remember from the last video. A triangle always adds up. All the angles always add up to, that's right, 180 degrees. So let's pretend that this angle here was 30 degrees. Let's pretend, I don't know, this was, let's pretend it was 90, a right angle. So 90 plus 30 is 120. What more makes 180? Well, this would have to be 60. So the question is, these are all interior angles, okay, and that's, that's all fine and dandy, but we're supposed to talk about exterior angles. That is this angle. In this case, we just drew a line right over here. There are more than, there's an exterior angle for every one of these, but before we get into it, I just want to want to say, how would you figure out what this angle is right here if you knew that this was 30? Well, what you would have to do is you'd have to remember that a straight line so a straight line, there's my straight line. If you took a protractor and you looked the degree that it takes to go from, you know, from here all the way to here or here all the way to here, a straight line is 180 degrees. It's kind of weird, eh, because a, uh, a triangle, the angles always add up. The angles on the inside or interior angles always add up to 180. And a straight line also happens to be 180. Just for fun, if you ever took a triangle, like a paper triangle, and if you just ripped off this, ripped off that corner, and ripped off this corner right here, and then ripped off this corner right here, and if you put all the tips together, there, there, and there, it would end up fitting. It would be like the three angles would actually make a straight line, which is 180 degrees. Okay, that's uh, more than what I really wanted to say here. What I really want you to know is that two angles that add up to make 180 degrees. Those are called, I don't know, there's, an, there's a word for it. They're called supplementary angles, but don't worry about that. That's just a word. What I'm concerned with is, can you figure out, if you have an angle here of 30 degrees, can you figure out what goes right here? Well, sure you can. Just take 180, which is a straight line, take away this 30 from that, so you're left 180 minus 30 is 150 degrees that there is an exterior angle of this triangle okay and for an exterior angle you could um, just go right here you could just draw a line you could choose to go this way make sure it's a straight line like use your ruler or just kinda do a really nice job with your pen or if you don't like that you could also go a straight line from here all the way out this way doesn't matter and tell me what the angle is on the outside okay so the angle on the outside here you got 90 and 90 because 90 plus 90 make 180 degrees okay and then the last one here you can choose to go down here like this or you could go across like this okay so and by the way you have to pick the angle that you know you have to pick like you might be saying well which one do you pick this one or this one well, you don't pick the one that's 180. That does not make sense. That is not an exterior angle here, okay? That's a mistake that I think I've seen some people make before. So just say, hey, what's this angle right here? Well, 180 minus 60 is 120. And there are the three exterior angles, 150, 90 degrees, and 120. Now there's something special that these three add up to, but let's not uh, get ahead of ourselves. Okay, here is another triangle. Let's practice this. So what would you do if I said, what are the exterior angles of this triangle? Well, you'd say, okay, I just need to draw some straight lines here. So you do that there, then you say, okay, I'm gonna draw a straight line right here. Whoops, as straight as I can. Then I'm gonna come down here and draw a straight line Ooh, that's about right, right there. And I will write in the angles that we need to find. Obviously, we're not looking for 180 degrees, right? We're looking for this angle here. Over here, we're looking for this angle. 
okay? And over here we're looking for this angle. Okay, let's figure them out really quick. 180 minus 30 is 150. This one, 100, and then 180 minus this would give us 80. And then over here, 50, if you took 180 minus 50, what are we left with? 130. Now there's something special about the exterior angles of any polygon. So it could be four-sided, five-sided, six, and so on. It has to be at least three-sided though, just remember. It can't be a two-sided polygon, there's no such thing. Anyway, we'll talk, you, know, you can think about that later. But let's look at the, these right here. Here's our three exterior angles. There's not much we do in this course about exterior angles except for, you should know this, 150 plus 130 plus 80. What does that equal? Well, if you add that up on your calculator, let's see, 150 plus 130 is 280. 280 plus 80 is what? It's a magic number. 360 degrees. So what you're supposed to take from this little lesson here is that the exterior angles, here they are, one, two, three, will always add up to 360 degrees. Did it work for the first one? Well, we wrote them down right here. We wrote it down. So what's 150 plus 90 plus 120? Sure enough, you get 360 degrees. Let's try this on one more question just to see if you have caught on to what's going on. And uh, I'll draw some straight lines. Sorry, this is a fairly lengthy one. I'm just drawing straight lines off any... I'm going to go like this. It's taken a little while, but I'm trying to go quick. Now, whoa, look folks, on this question, they didn't even tell us. They did not even tell us what the angles are inside here. So how are we supposed to figure out these ones? Well, we know how to do this from the last unit, right? First of all, a five-sided shape, one, two, three, four, five, oh, sorry, a six-sided shape. Let's make sure I'm counting right. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Pretty cool design we're making here. Eh? You didn't know that you were doing art as well. Eh? So there's six sides here, right? Now, a six-sided shape, it's called a hexagon, but that's not a big deal. You don't have to memorize that. A six-sided shape, how, what do the angles, remember the sum of the interior angles from the last lesson? Well, you know that a six-sided shape is going to make six minus two is four rectangle, uh, four triangles. There's four triangles that we can make on the inside. And each of those triangles, if you were to make those triangles starting from one corner, psh, 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 if you were to make four of those, each of them is 180 degrees. So we know that 4 times 180 is 720 degrees. Okay? Now this is a regular hexagon. That means all the sides are the same length. So that means all the angles on the inside are the same length. So you can take this 720 and you can share it with each of these angles and there are six of them. Okay, so 720 divided by 6. Every angle in here, 720 divided by 6 is 120. Okay, should I write it in for each one? Looks like I'm doing it. Wow, what a waste of time of your precious time. No, anyway, just kidding. The good news is, once you do one, we're going to know all the other exterior angles, okay? So, here we are, exterior angles. Take this line here. By the way, it looks awful, so I'm just going to fix that. Look at that. It's not even there. That looks a little better, eh? So, let's do the, six, let's do the exterior angles now. We know the interior is 120 here. How much is left over to make 180? That's right, 60 degrees. And it's the same thing for every one of these. Let's waste a little more of your time here. No, I'm just kidding. That's not my goal. I just wanted to show you this clearly. How many 60s do you see? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six 60s. So six times 60 degrees, what do you get? 360. So the deal is, want to look at that one more time? It's a pretty nice piece of artwork there. Okay, the deal is, let's 
see that? Why don't I just write this? I'll just type it. I'm a fast typer. The sum of the exterior angles for any polygon is, can you tell me? That's right, 360 degrees. So if you go to the Khan Academy and practice this right now, if you go and practice it, you're going to find out that the answer is always 360, okay, no matter what. All right, 360 degrees, exterior angles, the sum for any polygon. Uh, if you want proof of that, feel free to go to the Khan Academy and watch his video where he makes a little proof of why this is. Okay, I just didn't want to spend 20 minutes telling you all about this stuff because you've had 20 minutes in the past and uh, you know what it's like. It's not easy. Congratulations for surviving this video. Good luck.